Hey church kids, it's Mr. Damon, and I hope you're doing great because I am so excited that I get to spend time with you today. Do you know that you are one of a kind, that God made you so special? There's nobody else in the entire world, eight billion plus people, that's a lot of people. No one else is quite like you, and you are amazing. Well, today, I am super excited because our story is one that, uh, well, you just got to wait to hear it. But before we jump into today's story, ladies and gentlemen, I think you know what time it is, don't you? What time is it? Let me hear it. What time is it? It's time for the question of the week. The question of the week is this. Have you ever gotten a ride in a boat before? (laughs) Rowing, rowing in a boat. Mm, I'm rowing. Or maybe it was on a sailboat, or maybe it was on a giant boat, like brrr, brrr. I remember here in Seattle where I live, there are these amazing boats called ferries that you can drive your car onto, but I was always scared to be on the ferry when I was little because they would sound the giant horn and I wasn't expecting it. It'd be like, and I'd be like, wah! It would terrify me. Have you ever gotten to ride on a boat before? Now, It's a lot of fun when the water's calm and it's nice, but have you ever been on a boat when there starts to be waves? And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that's exactly what happens to our people in today's story. Because you see, in Mark chapter four, it says, as evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's go across to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out leaving the crowds behind. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. Holy schmoes. So here's what happens, church kids. Jesus, along with his posse, his like sidekicks, his disciples, are talking to everybody about God's love. Jesus is healing people with sick bodies. He's kicking out demons from people's hearts. It is amazing, and everybody is excited to be near Jesus. Well, finally, he is tired, because not only was Jesus fully God, he was also fully human, which means he got tired, he got hungry. So he was like, guys, let's go across this lake, and let's just hang out and chill for just a little bit. And they're like, roger that, Jesus. So all of the disciples and Jesus climb into a boat. And Jesus grabs his Hello Kitty pillow, lays it down on the back of the boat, gets his blankie, and then quickly goes to sleep. That's how Jesus snored, I think. So the disciples are rowing the boat across the lake. By this time, the sun's gone down. It's a beautiful sunset. Reds and oranges and pinks are lighting up the sky. And the disciples are having a great time. They're talking about the incredible things that they saw Jesus do. Like, can you believe it? He's the best. And meanwhile, Jesus is like, well, after a while, the sun's down, the moon comes up, the stars are out. And they're about halfway across the lake. And all of a sudden, kind of out of nowhere, these sneaky little clouds begin to fill. And all of a sudden, those grow more. And so finally, The disciples can't see the stars. They can't even see the moon. And then a wind begins to pick up. And then the wind gets stronger and stronger. And now that beautiful glassy water is beginning to get rocky. And then it gets worse. And the disciples are like trying to play it cool. Everybody tried to be cool in front of your friends, but you're really starting to get nervous. And they're like, hey, it's it's no big deal. I don't care. (sighs) Until finally the waves get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the wind begins to howl until it's like straight up hurricane conditions out on this lake. And the waves are gigantic. And they're crashing into the boat. And the boat is beginning to fill with water. Now, mind you, these disciples grew up their entire lives out on this giant lake. They are our fishermen. These guys have been in boats forever and they're scared. So if professional fishermen are getting scared, you know it's bad. And the wind is howling and, 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 and Matthew's toupee is flying off of his head and Peter is screaming for his mommy and the disciples are hugging each other like, 
We're gonna die! This is the end! Ah, we're dead! Until finally, somebody, I don't know, maybe it was Thomas, looks over and is like, Hey! God's in the boat! And so all the disciples run them soggy selves back to the end of the boat and they begin to shake Jesus. And, Jesus like, and they can't wake him up. And they're like, Jesus, wake up! And he wakes up. And he wipes that sleep drool out of the corner of his mouth. He's like, guys, what's going on? And they're like, what's going on? What's going on? Look around. Jesus, we're in the middle of the worst storm in the history of the world. And you're about to die. And he's like, uh, I don't think so. And Jesus stands up, probably still holding his Hello Kitty pillow. And he looks out at the waves and the wind and the darkness and the terror and the rah! And he looks at all of it and goes, be quiet. And church kids, the moment those words leave God's mouth, they happen like that. The wind stops immediately. The waves go from tidal waves to complete calm. And the disciples are like, uh, what? Uh? They can't believe their eyes. And Jesus turns and he looks at his soaking wet, dripping, scraggly disciples. And he goes, fellas, I was right here. What were you afraid of? And they were like, uh, dying? <sighs> and he's like, why were you afraid? And they realized the whole time that all of that craziness had been going on. Jesus was right there with them. Had he been there? Yes. Was he going to take care of them? Absolutely. Did they forget? Uh-huh. They forgot. You see, the reason why fear was able to fill up their hearts and take over their imaginations and convince them that no one was going to help them and they were all alone and they were going to die. The reason all of that happened was because they forgot that God was right there with them and that he always has promised to take care of them. Church kids, do you ever feel afraid? Because this guy does. Do you ever feel lonely? Me too. Do you ever feel like something is definitely 100% not going to work out and the wheels are falling off and everything's bad? <laughs> ever feel that way? I feel that way on a semi-regular basis. So that means that you and I were very much alike. But do you know the same reason the disciples felt that way is the same reason I feel that way and you feel that way, is it because for a moment, we forget. We forget that there is a God, his name is Jesus, and that he loves us very much and has promised to never leave us or abandon us. Now, all of a sudden, we remember and go, oh, that's right. Jesus, all I need to do is just ask for your help. And when I ask for your help, it reminds me that you're right there, fast asleep, calm as can be, with me. And fear gets replaced by peace. Church kids, you are Jesus' favorite. And the next time you start to feel worried, you start to feel those like kind of nasty butterflies in your stomach. The next time you start to feel angry and like you can't control it and you just want to like hurt somebody or hurt yourself. What do we do? We stop and we remember Jesus is with me. And then we go, Jesus, I need your help right now. And when we do, God promises every single time that he is going to take care of you. And sure, maybe the circumstances don't change. 
Maybe you're having a hard time in a class at school and maybe it's still a little hard for you. But when we remember that Jesus is with us and that he's going to help us, we realize it's going to be okay. And the storm and the rage and all of that stuff on the inside of us, God's peace comes and calms us down. Church kids, Jesus is right there with you. He's in the boat with you. And he loves you so much. Thank you.